What's up guys? This week we're going to talk about finding a great DJ. So choosing a DJ is a little more intensive than finding someone with a playlist and a great set of speakers. A professional DJ appropriately sets the tone for the event but isn't the party. And if you're not sure what we mean, stick around. We've got three great tips on how to find a great DJ for your wedding. The first thing is to check their attitude. So a DJ's job may be to get the party started when the dance floor opens up. However, it's not their job to take over the party. This concept often goes over the heads of non-professional DJs. Look for someone who asks questions about you, what you're looking for, and your story as a couple. They should be interested in your music vibe, your song, and that kind of stuff. Above all, if they do most of the talking and they perform the same way at every event, keep searching. A great DJ will want to compliment your story and your vision and not do the same performance at every single wedding. This day is not about them, it's about you. Please remember that. The second thing we're going to talk about is to spot the fakes. Fakes are everywhere, and I'm pretty sure you probably come across them just as I have. And it's not just related to DJs in particular. There are fake photographers, there are fake everything out there when it comes to weddings. So when we're talking about DJs, um, these are the kind of people that post ads on Craigslist, or they respond to a post you made on your Facebook page with an unbelievable, how can this be, oh my goodness, low price. And trust us, there's a reason why this price is so low. In these instances, the old saying stays true, you get what you pay for. So for instance, if someone is a non-professional DJ and a piece of equipment um, goes down, gets damaged, anything like that, they won't have a team to assist them through the emergency. So at that point, you're pretty much just out of luck. A professional DJ will have insurance, they will have great reviews, and some up-to-date pictures on their website and or Facebook, you know, Instagram, whatever social media pages. And if you can spot their equipment in the images, um, take a close look, check that their setup is neatly organized because pros don't leave hanging wires everywhere. They also don't have stacks of CDs or older equipment. Um, so these are the first two things that we talk about um, when it comes to finding a great DJ. We have one more tip that you can check out on our blog and it actually has a list of questions we put together that you can take with you when you go and meet um, some DJs or bands in the future so you can kind of go through the process with a little bit more confidence. So um, you can check it out on our blog at www.delong.com put a hyphen, photography.com forward slash blog, and you can check out all kinds of awesome wedding advice on our Pinterest page, on our wedding advice board, and you can find us on Pinterest at Delong Photography. We hope this was really helpful. Please leave some comments below. Let me know what you thought of this, and let us know too if there's anything else um, content-wise that we haven't covered, and we'll be happy to put together a video for you too. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys soon. See you later.